deep dive into Alzheimer's and the Ozarks, we've heard many stories about those faced with difficult diagnosis and what questions about what the future will hold. For many, the future looks like being taken care of by an often younger family member turned caregiver. Tonight, our Colin Lingo looks into the struggles facing those who make that sacrifice and why Alzheimer's experts say teamwork is key when it comes to caring for a loved one diagnosed with dementia. There was a time when Daisy Duarte didn't worry about the slow deterioration that comes with dementia. It was just me having fun and games, you know, enjoying life, living the dream, you know. Back then, she owned her own business and she maintained an active social life. But I wouldn't change what I'm doing now for my mom for the world. Her mom, Sonia, was diagnosed with Alzheimer's about eight years ago. Being a caregiver is not an easy job. Today, Daisy and her nephew Martin take care of Sonia full time. Just a pill crusher, pill pulverizer. Just sprinkle it on the top. Both of them sacrificing their day to day. It's got to be a little medicine at a time. He's 19 years old and he's doing this for his grandma. Serving their ailing loved one morning, noon, and night. Being a caregiver is such a big job. Julia Schreiber is a resource director at the Missouri Memory Center, a branch of Citizens Memorial Hospital in Bolivar, Missouri. She says more often than not, this is what happens when a member of the family falls victim to dementia or Alzheimer's disease. And while dividing the labor among many siblings or relatives is ideal, it's more frequent that one caregiver steps forward. And often that one person won't want to ask for help from any other family members. You know, they are reluctant to do that. And, you know, they say, oh, they have busy lives, you know, they have children of their own, they, have, they work full time. So there is some uh, barriers there. On top of that, those family members seeing the illness from a distance might not know the best way to help. Unless you are living with someone that with the disease, with dementia, you don't see all the stuff that a caregiver needs to do. Shriver says teamwork, however, will provide useful to both the ailing loved one and the primary caregiver. So they need help, they need a break, and it, they need to take care of themselves like we tell our patients about eating right, exercising, staying mentally, socially active. They also need to do the same kind of things. It's why even on tough days with Sonia, Daisy and Martin are thankful to have each other. It takes a strong person to do that. So it's like, to me, it's like, I, I couldn't ask for an, a better psychic. Colin Lingo, Colorton News, Ozarks First.